Hey everyone! So today is Thursday. This week actually went by pretty fast. Um, on the docket for today, I'm eating breakfast now. I'm meeting my mom at 2 to go to the gym and run and then have to do, have to fin edit this vlog, finish last yesterday's vlog, edit my New York City Marathon video which I'm hoping to get up by tomorrow and do some client work. So it's a pretty busy day and I also find out if I got into the New York City half today so stay tuned. I wasn't lying when I said that I eat this oatmeal dish like not, I eat this every day for breakfast probably. I actually got some eggs and turkey sausage yesterday from the grocery store to try to mix things up but today I was just lazy and went with my usual oatmeal. Editing this video is taking forever. It's the marathon video, so I knew it was gonna take forever, which is why I put it off for so long. I started this at 11, it's almost 1.30, going to take a lunch break soon, but there's just so many clips to go through. Um, yeah, it's insane. It's like clips from my iPhone, from my family's iPhones, from my mom's GoPro she had during the race, and then my sister had this camera, so it's just sifting through all this footage, trying to get the good stuff and then putting it all together in a montage. I got in. Upcoming races, United Airlines NYC half, and my card was charged, so I believe I'm officially in. I haven't gotten a confirmation email yet from New York Roadrunners, but the lottery is still going on, so hoping my mom gets in too. Otherwise, looks like I might be training for this half by myself this winter. I go in with a chicken bowl, like Chipotle style. I just added the corn and the peppers now, and we've got three and a half hours left, so I'm going to keep it in here while I go to spin and yoga. Heading to spin class now. Um, it's a 30-30 class, which means it's 30 minutes spin followed by 30 minutes of yoga. And it's a really good combo. I really like this class. I wanted to run before the class, but just time got away from me. Um, I haven't finished my marathon editing yet. I had to edit another video for a client. I had to edit Vlogmas and post that. So I was basically just sitting at my computer all day. So I'm excited to just go spin, sweat a ton, do yoga, and then come back and keep working. Guys, that class was no joke. I'm still out of breath even after 30 minutes of yoga and laying there at the end, like, that was hard, but such a good class, much needed. Like I said in my first vlog, if you're in the New Jersey area, definitely check out Ride and Reflect in Burnham. It is such a great studio, amazing instructors like I mentioned before, and just great overall classes. Time to go sit in traffic and get home. It smells delicious in here. We've got 42 minutes left. Let's see what's cooking. So far so good. Now I just am gonna make rice and dinner will be ready. So. The rice I like to use is this um, Uncle Ben's long grain uh, rice. So you just put it in the microwave in this pouch, 90 seconds, and it's perfectly cooked. And nutrition value wise, it's not bad. So one pouch has two servings, 190 calories per serving. And you can see the rest of the info here. Um, so many videos to edit and I really want to finish this marathon video by tomorrow but we'll see if that happens because I have to finish a client video too and that's taking longer than expected but just a little tip for my fellow youtubers and people editing videos whether it's for yourself um, or for clients this channel uh, by Gabrielle Marie has a lot of really cool tutorials and transitions um, that you could use in your videos. I learned a few new cool tricks from this channel on different, um, see her profile picture even says it, editing hacks. And especially with iMovie, which isn't as robust as uh, let's say Final Cut Pro. There's a lot of info here and just 
design elements, tips on where to get music for your videos. Um, like I said, the transitions, which are really cool. For example, one I think is cool is these. I don't know if it makes sense to you if you're, if you're not into editing videos, but so what you do is you can download this video, which the transition is those colored blocks closing. And then in iMovie, I'll just show you what I'm working on now. In iMovie, so here's one that I downloaded that's like a starburst. You can put it over something and then use that as your intro or whatever, um, outro, whatever you want to do. It won't be green once you actually overlay it over your files, if that makes sense. So yeah, this is my night, is just editing an iMovie very exciting vlog, I know. My official email, got a spot for New York City Half Marathon, but unfortunately, my mom didn't get in and I'm so bummed about it. Just got out of the shower, so excuse my messy appearance. Um, but anyway, so my mom didn't get into the New York City Half Marathon and neither did any of our running group uh, members, so Basically, I'm training for it alone and will be running it alone in March, March 19th, but it stinks because I'll, be ha I'll have to train alone in the winter and running outside in the winter, and I've never done that before. I've never trained for a race in the wintertime. I've always done a fall half marathon or marathon, so it's summer training, so it it'll be interesting to see like how winter training goes, but yeah. I'm gonna be all alone. Let me know in the comments if you got in or if you're running any other sort of spring uh, half marathon or marathon. I'm gonna try to find my mom another half that's also in like March or April so that hopefully I have someone to train with. All right guys, so I'm gonna go eat dinner now and then afterwards the usual, just watching House with Dan. So I will see you all tomorrow, bye.